Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Stock. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Today was a rather rough day in the stock market. Lots of red all over the place, but if you have some money lying around that you're able to put into those stocks, you might be able to capitalize on some deep discounts. As a matter of fact, in the coming days ahead, with the muted economic activity, you might find that you have other buying opportunities as well. Today, I would like to talk about some of those stocks that offer us some opportunities for possibly buying in where we may have thought that had passed us because they had such a strong momentum and then today slowed them down a little bit. So without further ado, let's get ready to rock. Welcome back everyone. I gotta say over at the Patreon in the Discord, people are talking about all sorts of stocks that are bringing stocks to my attention that I didn't even know existed. A lot of them small penny stocks, but it seems like they mentioned them and then next thing you know, it's up 20 or 30%. I've never seen anything like it. It's pretty crazy. Uh, in GameStop and in stocks like that aside with all the short squeezes taking place and the crazy activity, I don't even, people were asking me for stock price predictions on GameStop. I don't have one, it blows my mind. But about the Patreon, if you would like to join us and the private Discord that we have over there, the link is down in the description. We'd love to have you. It's a growing community. There's a lot of excitement, and I love being part of it, and I would love if you would also be a part of it. So check out that link down in the description. Also down in the description is the link for Webull. By signing up and depositing $100, you get four free stocks valued anywhere from $21 up to $3,700 total. So free money, kind of hard to argue with. It does help support this channel because I do get two free stocks as a result. It allowed me to buy some new equipment. I'm working on a new camera, new microphone. So getting used to that technology, it really is something that uh, has caused me a little bit of extra time, but I'm excited to have it. I'm waiting on just a few more pieces so I can get my new uh, setup going that uh, we have a little bit different of a background back here. And uh, I'm excited to share that with you guys in the days ahead. So that link for Webull is down in the description. Check it out, get your free stocks by signing up and depositing $100. Thank you ahead of time. Finally, subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit the like button, share it with your friends. Let's get on to the stocks. All right, so the first stock is one of my recent favorites. It's NEO. I didn't think that we would see it back in the 50s so soon, but with the market down like it is, we can see it pulling back to uh, at market close $57. And I don't believe that the after hours really brought us anything different. Even if we look down in to those after hours, it looks like we're buying them out. Ooh, all right, $56.19 uh, is where uh, the after hours uh, finished today. So. To me, in, in my mind with the price target that this has, anywhere I've heard everything from uh, $80 up to $100, this is well below that. And really, I think that you can get NEO at a deep discount if you were to buy into that and if you believe in the fundamentals of the company going forward. So today being just a tremendous red day in the markets, we see that. And if you look at the air support that we have, right around $55.65 is where the, the bulls just kept coming back in over and over throughout this time. Here, let me expand it a little bit for you. And you can see they drew a hard line where they just wouldn't let it go beneath that price. So keep an eye on that. I think that is a good line of support and I, I don't expect, unless we have a few more red days in a row, stock market wide, uh, for us to see that taking place. So NEO, a really strong company fundamentally speaking and I think that we in some greener days in the markets we'll see this spring right back up. Some of what we might be seeing happening with NEO uh, and the EVs in general might be related to Tesla with its earnings. Uh, Tesla being the big ship in the harbor and the rest of these EVs sort of getting caught up in that wake. So besides the markets being down we might also see them moving slightly in sympathy right along with Tesla. That being said, we'll take a quick look at Tesla. You can see they topped out recently at just over $900, and that's awesome. And then today with that, the red markets, uh, plus that uh, miss on profits that they had, that they fell short of that expectation, you can see that they're down. So depending on what you believe about, uh, about Tesla's stock price going forward, some people are saying that it's gonna break 1,000 before too long. So if you're in that uh, group of people, again, you have a discounted opportunity to buy into that. The next one is CCIV. I think that some of the hype surrounding GameStop and the the Reddit feeds with uh, Wall Street bets, I think really took away from some of the hype that we had for this, plus the red day that we had. I think as we 
continue to hear more about the merger going from rumor to actually being something that's that's not only official talks but actually having writing about a merger deal between CCIV and Lucid Motors. I really think that we'll see that power, that energy come back into CCIV. We'll see that price come up again. Be careful because again, it, it puts us back in that coin flip territory, but we've seen what it can do just off a little bit of news that Lucid is in fact in talks with CCIV about a possible merger and what it did before. And I believe that it will just do it all over again when we hear more news about that, especially on a better, uh, on a better day in the markets in general. Stepping outside of EVs, going to NNDM. Today you can see it closed at $14.52, so it's about a little under, a little over $3 off of where it was at at its highs. It might not get up there right away, but it still has that potential to keep on climbing. It was on a very strong bullish run leading up to that point. And I think that we can see that energy continue, especially as the markets rise again, that we see the money come back into the stock because they haven't really changed as a company. Today was a really rough day in the markets. And so we see maybe some price correction taking place. Maybe it's slowing us down. But if you're looking for a better entry point, you know, a really big red day is the day to find those entry points. Finally, a stock that I've been really bullish on recently is Skills. I've made a few videos where I've mentioned it and people have been asking me about, you know, when, when should I get into this stock? And even though I can't really answer that because it depends on a lot of things and I'm also not licensed to give that sort of financial advice, really buying in when it was on such a run like it was, you know, really took some time. It also really took some belief in the company that it really would continue to grow as much as it has grown in the past and that uh, it's really big into the esports and the online gaming market where you can actually players can actually win money from this developers get paid from those games that are getting played it really is a really nice business model for that so people are saying hey when should i get in how should i get into this when's a good time honestly today today is a great time you can see this candle is falling away from the rest of the trend that we had that big red day in the market and it just came tumbling down and if we look in the after hours it tumbled even lower down to about 26.51 when it finally closed. So if you're looking for a good time, like if I was going to increase my position on this stock, I would definitely take this as an opportunity in order to increase my position. Right now, I like the position that I have, I'm comfortable with it, and as I learn more about the company and see more about their financials and see that they're continuing to grow as much as we expect them to grow, then I'll dollar cost average right along with it. But first I wanna see more of that confirmation coming into it. All right, so I know that I only showed five companies and I showed some from the EVs. I really wanna talk about the EVs because so many people are interested in finding good positions in them and it, they've just been on such a run recently that it's really difficult to find a good time to buy when they're not already sky high as it is. So instead, finding a day when we had a lot of red in the market Today made for an excellent opportunity where we have companies that are down, you know, five to seven percent in their stock prices. Neo is way down. Tesla compared to where they were recently, topping out at nine hundred dollars. You know, they're they're nearly they're like nine to ten percent off of that right now. So, so Neo's at a discount. Tesla's at a discount. CCIV is still a. It, we know that they're in talks. We, we've had that much confirmation that Lucid is talking with Churchill Capital about a possible merger sometime in the future, but I don't believe that anything's in writing yet, that we don't have any sort of confirmation that that's even going to happen. So there's no dates or anything. So it's still a total gamble. I wanna be completely clear on that. But we do have confirmation they're at least talking to one another. If we get more information that furthers that deal, this is gonna pop right back up again. So the money that I have in this, I know it might go back down to $10 if that deal falls through on Churchill Capital and Lucid Motors, but if we do get further confirmation, I think we're going to see the hype come right back to it, that hype that re that's recently been stolen by the, by the Wall Street beats. NNDM has had a lot of up and very little down recently today, finally brought it down a bit. So if you're looking for an opportunity, you know, why not look forward on a red day? I know that those are the times that I like, that I like to find my buying opportunities. Finally, Skills also has been very strong recently. 
today being red like it was brought it back down about 10% from its high. I think it's down to just under $27, $26.51 I think I reported and it was up uh, right over 30 at its high. So coming down over $3 off that mark might offer us uh, a place if we choose to take a bigger position based on our, re our own research and our own due diligence. If we feel like it's a good time to buy in, you know, now on a red day might be a good time to buy in. So that's what I have for you. If you'd like to join my Patreon and talk more about stocks over at the private Discord, that link is down in the description. If you need a trading platform, Webull, I use it in my videos, I use it in my trading, I really do enjoy it. And the mobile app, I'm learning more about it all the time. And the more I find on the mobile app, the more I like it. Sign up, deposit your $100, get your four free stocks, support the channel. Thanks ahead of time. Again, that link is down in the description. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit the like button, share it with your friends. Remember, this video is for educational purposes only. Always do your own research and your own due diligence. Contact a financial advisor before making any financial decisions. I'm Dr. Stock. Thanks for rocking with me. Now go get that money.